Good evening again, folks. Sean here with the latest edition of Beer Snobby Goodness. Now, tonight's beer is a fine example of why you never make anything limited edition. Because if I see anything that says limited edition, I immediately want it. Whether it has any basis in practicality or not. Anyway, tonight's example. Fuller's Vintage Ale. Now, Fuller's is a brewing company I reviewed in the past. They're uh, based in Britain. They've, uh, they do some very fine ales. My, my favorite from there is uh, the London Porter. Now, this one, th this for me is a first. I have never before purchased a beer that was not only limited edition vintage, it, it never came in its own box. So yes, th this was sold as a single bottle. And it does contain some rather interesting notes about said ale, which I, I will read some stuff off to you. This is a... Uh, this ale has been crafted from the very finest in Golding's hops, triple malted barley, and of course, Fuller's unique yeast to create a truly extraordinary limited edition brew. Individually packed and numbered, this bottle is one of only 160,000 produced. And apparently this limited edition is uh, 12 years 12 years running now. It's been done for a little while. It even comes with a uh, little packet here. That this actually shows the entire history of the uh, this limited edition vintage ale. I've already poured it, both to save time and to very carefully preserve the. Uh, you know, the tape and, you know, basically keep it as pristine looking as possible because as long as I like these brews, they go up on the, uh, the wall of fame that, you know, runs along the wall here. Anyway, it, it being an English beer, I'm using my, my nice English pub glass. It's, uh, a little cloudy. I'm assuming that's, you know, some sort of special filtering or just the fact it was whatever it was filtered in but it uh it smells promising so you know I'll let you know wow You know, my personal preference for Fuller's is still that London Porter I mentioned earlier. However, that being said, this uh, this bottle conditioned vintage ale, um, this was well worth the amount of money I dropped for it. This this is nothing short of excellent. And at eight and a half percent alcohol, um, even if I felt any guilt about dropping the amount of money I did, I probably wouldn't be particularly concerned about it at the moment. It's, uh, it is that good. So, yes. I think it's also a good thing that they don't produce these things more than on an annual basis where I would have no room left on my shelves. It's, uh, it's that good. So, you know, good job, Fullers. Those guys over overseas definitely know what they're doing when it comes to producing a fine ale. This was, uh, this was purchased at my ever reliable, you know, source for all things beer, you know, State Line Liquors in Maryland. Uh, Route 279 off 95, in case anyone's curious. Um, if you're local to the Philadelphia, Wilmington, or even Baltimore area, and you're so inclined, I, I highly recommend making the jaunt. If you're a beer enthusiast, trust me, it, it's Mecca. So, that'll do it for me. Uh, got got another series that'll be coming after th after this one, and uh, so stay tuned for that. Until then, this is Sean. Cheers.